do you ever have those moments where you're just going about your day? You're doing the things that you do every single day. Either you go to work or you're painting, you're doing one of your hobbies, whatever it is that you're doing throughout the day. And suddenly you get this kind of jolt, this kind of moment of self-actualization. And you're thinking to yourself, what the actual fuck am I doing right now? (laughs) See, I get those moments all the time. All the fucking time, I think to myself, why is it that I'm doing what I'm doing? Why is it that I'm going to school? Why is it that I'm doing YouTube? Why is it that I'm doing anything in my life? And sometimes if these thoughts become so overwhelming that they hinder me from doing anything at all. So sometimes I'm just sitting around, contemplating, ruminating in my mind, Alex, what are you doing? And it begs the question, Do we ever really know what we're doing? So what do you do when you don't know what to do? Okay, I'm going to sit down for this one. Yeah. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> Hi, my name's Alex. Welcome to my channel. I don't know what I'm doing ever. And here's me figuring it out. So what do you do when you don't know what to do? There's a lot of different options that you could do. You could resort to not thinking about (laughs) shoving that existential thought as deep as you possibly can and never having to think about it. You could distract yourself with drugs, with alcohol, with entertainment, with shopping, with anything that exists in the world that would keep you at bay, that would keep you from thinking about this misery, this this freedom, this existential freedom of choice that we are all blessed with in this world. (laughs) But seriously, I feel like a lot of us who tend to think a lot about life and, and why it is that we are on this life and this earth, we tend to think about why it is that we do the things that we do, right? Is it actually free will or is it some sort of subconscious that makes us do the things that we do? Is it because we feel like we have to obtain certain expectations that were placed on us from other people or from society and from the people around us? Or is everything that we do truly authentically ourselves, but ourselves is so ever-changing that our mind changes often? Or do we simply just try to fill the gap, just doing things as we see fit, trying to fill that gap of uncertainty, of anxiety. I find myself, whenever I have a a moment to myself, thinking, why am I doing this? Why am I on YouTube? Why am I going to school? Why am I not going to school? Why am I doing the jobs that I do? Why am I doing anything at all? Why am I choosing the clothes that I choose? Why am I acting the way that I do? And this constant rumination and thinking of the why, why is it, why, 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 it brings you down a path of almost despair because you don't have any clue of what's going on. And honestly, I don't think anybody has any clue of what's going on. We kind of just do things and hope that it sticks, hope that it makes sense one day, hope that maybe this would all make sense. But what if it never does? What if it just never makes sense? So here are a couple ideas I've come up with. If you don't know what to do, here's what you can do. (laughs) Found that has helped me is simply sitting in that feeling, sitting in that feeling of uncertainty, you know, and just embracing it. Because I feel like it is such a gift to feel this way. I know it's not the most positive thing to feel because it's so anxiety inducing and so stressful and you get stuck in this thought loops like, what am I doing? 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 And sometimes that thought loop can create this like, how can I say, like this need to fill ourselves with other things outside of ourselves. But I like to sit with it. I like to sit with that feeling and answer that question to myself. Why is it that I'm doing this? So for example, I would be at my job and I would think, 
okay, why am I, why am I doing this particular job? And for me, the most important part as to why I do things is the deeper why, not the, oh, because I need money or oh, because, which are valid reasons. And if those are your reasons, that's totally fine. But as somebody who's trying to move through life as, um, how can I say, as authentically as I possibly can, I try to think to myself, why is it that I'm doing this particular job? Is it for me? Is it for other people? Is it because I find it easy? And a lot of the times I've done jobs or I've done things because they were easy, less so because I felt like I had to prove myself. And so even being, even recognizing certain parts of ourselves, that that ego self, that does things, recognizing that part as the reason to why it is that we do things helps ease the the stress and the anxiety that is caused by this eternal question of the why. You could distract yourself from thinking of the why. And a lot of people do. I do as well to a certain extent. And I think, yeah, no shit we try to distract ourselves because how stressful is it that everything we ever do depends on us? Our life, this one life that we have, regardless if you believe in, in an afterlife or spirits or anything, this is the one conscious life that we have that we will ever experience and it's all in our hands. It is all in our hands and how anxiety inducing it is to realize that it is all up to us. But is also, what a wonderful freedom. You can literally do whatever it is that you want to do whatever it is that makes you happy. And maybe one day one thing will make you happy and the next day it won't make you happy. And that's part of life and that's part of what it is to figuring out why. And so what to do when you don't know what to do is to just keep going. Sit with yourself in that feeling and keep going. Keep trying new things. Keep putting yourself out there. Keep doing the things that you need to do that you want to do. And sometimes it's okay to deviate from the path. It's okay if it's not, you know, exactly how you thought it would be or it's not exactly how you thought life would go for you. Because a lot of things are unfair that happens in our world. But the only way we can move past all of the shit that's ever fucking happened to us is to take life into our own hands and doing shit that we actually fucking like doing. Make a list of the things that you value and fucking keep going. And it's okay to have these moments when you're sitting to yourself and you're thinking, why am I doing what I'm doing? Why am I doing what I'm doing? Why am I fucking doing what I'm doing? It's because you're here and because you're you and because you're doing your best. That's why you're doing the things that you do. And for whatever reason that you do the things that you do, if it makes you happy, if it makes you feel fulfilled, if it gives you a sense of purpose, if it makes you happy, or if it's because you want to make money, or if it's because you want to prove yourself to people, acknowledge that. And it's okay, no matter the reason. But when you don't know what to do, think about it. Think about why. And it's a hard question. And so it's tough to sit with yourself and to think of that question. It's hard to sit with yourself and sit in that feeling and think, why the fuck am I actually doing this? But only then, only when you figure it out, that is when you can continue going. And if you don't, if you don't know the answer to that question, you just keep on fucking going. You just keep on fucking going until life stops as long as you're doing whatever it is that you want to do as long as you do whatever feels right to you nobody can ever fucking tell you otherwise don't listen to any of those fucking boomers that tell you you should work that nine to five job if you don't want to fucking do that fuck that You have one life. There is one fucking life. And none of us know what we're doing. And we're all trying our best. We're all trying our best to figure it out. And if you don't, that's okay. 
as long as you're doing something. And it's easy when you get wrapped up in these loop thoughts to just sit and ponder and keep yourself from doing anything. I know many people who fall into this pattern who literally get so overwhelmed that they can't even physically get up and do anything. And it's sad. And it's sad and it's real and that's life. And fuck, it is difficult. But it doesn't have to make sense. Sometimes you just have to do something. Sometimes in those moments when you don't know what to do, you just have to do something. And then whatever it is that you do, it will just keep going. It'll keep making sense as long as you do something. You could do something that you hate. And you know what that tells you? That you fucking hate doing this thing. On to the next thing to do. And if the next thing you do, you hate it, then you know that that thing you fucking hate. Sometimes life is just a process of elimination. It's doing things until you realize what makes you happy. It's about trying things that you're scared to do. It's about doing things. So what to do when you don't know what to do? Do anything. Do anything. Don't sit in your thoughts and ruminate about them. I know I've spent my fair share doing that. And sometimes it feels like it will bring you somewhere. It never does. Because the more you sit in your thoughts, the more anxious you get. So today, I challenge you, I challenge me to just do something that you enjoy. Fuck it. You don't have to prove yourself to anybody. Just do it. Literally. It's really that simple. It is really, unfortunately, that simple. And my life, my journey, my YouTube, everything that I do is in hopes that I will figure it out for myself. And maybe I'll never figure it out. And that's okay. Maybe that is my fate. Is just to try things, to do things, until one day it all makes sense. And maybe that's it for you too. Maybe you're lucky and you know exactly what it is that you need to do and you've been doing it. But for those of you who are constantly stuck in this thought, this loop, I don't know what to do, what am I doing with my life, what am I doing with my life? Not everything that you need to do, not everything that you do in life has to mean something deeper. Sometimes you could just do things for the sake of doing them. Even if you don't know what that will lead to. And you might hate it. And then you might know that at least you hate something. Anyway. Okay. I don't know what this video is. But uh, if you're still here, thank you for watching. And uh, that's it. I hope you have a great day. Bye.